Yeah, we're traveling by sea, air, and land, baby. And I am like a navigational genius. We got lost. So we're eating a quick breakfast, meeting up with the rest of the party, and then we're going to party. Rage, rage, freaking rage. I'm gonna spend like a half day here and then go over to Hollywood Studios because that's the thing Carter likes the most. First thing we're doing today, Spaceship Earth. I got a lightning lane for it actually. Carter loves space stuff. Um, actually, I tell him a, a good night story called uh, Captain Carter. Are you excited? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up, the seas with Nemo and friends. Should be fun. Don't know really. Don't really know what it's about. So let's find out. Carly is so excited. Excited. So excited. <laughs> Carter. So I'm taking this one with Carly and we are going on an undersea adventure. Y'all, right outside of the Nemo thing, there's like real fish, like manatees and stuff like that. I had no idea. I thought it was fake. We'll figure it out, honey. Hey, Carter, we got a good idea. Somehow we managed to get a table for nine at the Coral Reef. I think it's because we got here as they opened. So anybody watching this, I'd probably advise you to try to get here for lunch. They open up at 11.30. But this is amazing. Right in front of us, there is an aquarium. They have a hammerhead shark here, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, it's like one of our son's favorite kinds of sharks. So this is amazing. I'm so happy that we could actually get here. It was actually like kind of on the list of things that I wanted to do when we got here, just because our son loves Sharks and fish so much. All right, so we decided that we're gonna get out of here. It's uh, one Carter sleeping. All that food put us to sleep. It's so relaxing in there, man. That like, we're just out of it now. We're just gonna go back home and sleep and maybe go back to Hollywood Studios later. Or who knows, maybe not, I don't know. Got the crew back assembled again. One, two, three, and four. Got the crew assembled back again. We're feeling fresh. We took showers, nap, ate food. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe Epcot was just like too slow for us because put us all to bed. Put us all to sleep, like for real. Like Epcot isn't the place to go. It was kind of boring. That being said, we're headed to Hollywood Studios. Oh my 
God, look at that girl. She's fast as lightning. Look, look, guys, the bus to Boringville. Is this like a bus to the most, yeah, the most boring place on earth. Yeah, so it's about it's 6:02 right now, and we're entering this place. They're only open until nine, but I mean, we plan on leaving before then. Back on the beat. <laughs> Here we are, guys. Back on the beat. We are checking out Hollywood Studios again for the second time and bringing a few other people along. Uh, this is Carter's favorite place, so we are more than willing to look at it again. We're going to start this off with something we didn't do yesterday, actually, which is Lightning McCree. Uh, Lightning McQueen's Race Academy. We're gonna try it out today since we didn't do it the other day. And also there's only a 15 minute wait. Found a squirrel, y'all. Looking for it. Easy guys, back up. Alright, yeah, get out a little bit. so far of the ones that have the best alcohol I'd probably say Hollywood Studios to be honest they've had uh, I've seen them they have like full uh, liquor bars good choices of beer I've had a Sam Adams here I've had a Bud Light here I've seen stands with yinglings We've only gotten like one other of these pennies from House of Blues last night. But our son is crazy into, into Toy Story. Look, buddy. Look. Look, but it's Toy Story. Look, it's Woody and Buzz on that one. And this one's got Rex. Yeah, and then look, that's got the aliens. It's just that it's the names of their rides. That's cool. You guys are finding us once again in Toy Story Land. Um, this place, like I said, is just our son's favorite. So we came back. Plus, Jamie's sister is waiting for uh, Slinky Dog. So we're yeah, we're just here waiting for her to get off because she has a 75-minute wait. Carter's not tall enough to go on that ride, unfortunately. So I have to go pee. And then I promised Jamie I would meet her right out front of the uh, Toy Story Mania ride. So I'm headed there right now. She should be right out front. I think it's like a 25 minute wait. And this park closes in one hour. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we loved it so much, we're gonna go on it again. You saw Mr. Potato Head? This will literally be our third time going on this. This is the best time to ride. Thanks, baby. I don't even think I'm gonna record this time. And I'm gonna close the vlog out right now because I gotta crush this. All right, so I lied. We're gonna go on the Skyliner thing because there's fireworks and shit going on. I mean, and crap going on. Uh, so we're gonna go on this thing and then uh, we're gonna wind up in some place we don't know. Then we gotta find out how to get home. Oh yeah. There's fireworks going off. We're living life on the edge. We don't care. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. One to 
get over to Epcot, and then Epcot will take us home. Okay, on this episode of the saga that is Captain Carter and the Magic Sailing Spaceship. Closing out the vlog for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Y'all, I'm just kidding. We're not closing it out. This adventure is continuing. We gotta get to the front of Epcot so that we can get on a bus to get back home. Man, I am like a navigational genius. Except we got on the wrong boat and we have to go to like two different stops before we can even get on a bus to go home. Isn't it so funny? We did. We took. We took the Skyliner all the way over there to take the boat back here. <laughs> I think Dude, it was fun. Guys, it. we did that for an experience. Now we can say that we took the boat. We took the Skyliner. We got lost. We'll go back home and we'll retell the story. Yeah?